This Queensland groper is feeling a little blue. When the Cairns Aquarium was forced to close due to coronavirus restrictions, Chang stopped eating. Almost actually even sulking a little bit. While the groper's hunger strike was a little extreme, he's not the only fish here that's struggling with isolation. Basically going from one day having a lot of people out there to the next day nobody, yeah, it was actually quite a actually noticeable difference in the animal's behaviour. But Chang felt the separation harder than others. He loves to sit there in the acrylic, right up with his face close to it, watching people. It's not only the fish at the aquarium that are missing the crowds, it's a similar story on the Great Barrier Reef. Every year, Wally the Maori wrasse normally sees thousands of tourists at Moor Reef off Cairns. Now he's all alone and pining for human interaction. They're not the mindless animals that people think they are. Fish can have emotions and they can interact with people, particularly the larger species. The Cairns Aquarium is gently preparing the fish for that interaction when it's allowed to open its doors once more. We'll start having our lunch down there in front of that tank and just start getting the use that fish used to people sitting down in front of the tank and eating their food and everything there again. So it's not so much of a shock for them. Watching and waiting, hopefully, for that day to come. Christy Sexton-McGraw, ABC News, Cairns.